what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again with some sons of anarchy and i'm only going to be doing one episode today it's only um that's i only got time enough to do one episode today before i have to jump into a zoom meeting with some business people so um and i'm gonna be there for a while so i don't think i could even do one after i think we're probably gonna be on there like for a good couple of hours or so and by that time it's gonna be too late for me to jump back on and do another episode plus i didn't even get a chance to do something else that i promised to do today but that's neither here nor there let's talk sons of anarchy enjoying this series not gonna talk too much in the intro but i'll have something to say after um regarding regarding a lot of stuff that is going on right now in this series which i'm looking forward the stalker is dead he's not even mentioned to mention his name is not ready um the only thing that i that i had to say about it was like i don't think it was the best thing or the best way to go about it killing killing not killing him but burying him i think they should have called the cops um I, I don't think anybody would have, she wouldn't have gone to jail. That's a clear self-defense case. You get what I'm saying? In terms of, um, in, t in, in terms of, what's her name again? Okay. Why am I drawing a blank on her name right now? Like, <laughs> that's weird. But anyways, um, you guys know who I'm talking about. Furthermore, I think they would have believed her. Even if there was a trial, there's no, there's nothing to say. You get, you get what I'm saying. The evidence is there for, for, for her to say, listen, this man broke into my home. He was supposed to leave town. I have a restraining, restraining order against him. There's so many evidence against that dude that there's no way to look at that and be like, that's not self-defense. You get what I'm saying? So I think they should have called the cops. And I think maybe this is going to come and bite them in the ass later. Depends on how the story goes. We, you know, this just might be a throwaway thing. It could be something that bites them in the ass later, but it's yet to be seen. So let's jump into the episode and I will see you guys for the review. All right. Sons of Anarchy, episode 10, season one. Yes, sir. That was beautiful. And Miss Thang is getting is getting what she deserves, man. I don't feel sorry for her one bit. She's a bitch. You know, she comes in, you know what I'm saying, trying to uproot all of this, all of this stuff that's going on. I'm not saying that she's wrong for doing her job. You know what I mean? Like, it's not wrong for, for doing her job. But at the same time, it's just the way how she acts. I just don't like her, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's there's times when I have what series where, you know, police is not, you know, they're portrayed as the antagonist in the show and you're supposed to root against them. And I've, you know what I'm saying? Objectively speaking and objectively looking at the show, you know, sometimes I would like the police officer because they're doing everything by the book. They're not overdoing anything. Yeah, they get outsmarted and all this other stuff. But this, I just hate her. I don't like her, man. I just don't like her attitude, the way how she does things. And then he, she's getting, uh, ugh. I can't believe he's he's going down on, ugh. Jeez, my disgust. Ugh, my God. I can't even, I can't even imagine what, the, what that, what, I know. You know, women like that, women like that, they don't shave, bruh. <laughs> they don't shave so you know that there's a pretty thick bush down there <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know there's a pretty thick bush down there um women like that you know that are trying they have this manly aura about them like i can't i don't like it i don't like it you know what i'm saying uh so to see her get bashed like that was very satisfying to say the least you know what I'm saying? Um, because she tried to trick the dude. She lied to him. She didn't. She couldn't even tell the truth. You know what I mean? She couldn't even tell the truth about the the the, the situation. And that's why I'm like, come on, man. You could have at least tell him the truth. That is a Rico case or whatever. 
you know, but you don't have to tell a criminal. You can trick criminals into doing shit, even though you're not really supposed to really, you can't coerce people into, into doing anything, ex especially if you're trying to coerce people, um, into making confessions and stuff like that. Like if you do that, the confession can be thrown out and, and stuff like that. So loving this man, respect out to, to Jax. They've identified one of the people. That's why I'm saying it looks like the person in the window saw both of them. Um, and man, that sketch artist though. Damn. It's like the split image of OP. I don't know the other dude's name. It's like the split image of them. That's crazy how, how that sketch artist is like based on what somebody telling you. Like that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's not going to be a long one because I have to jump off now and go to the zoo meeting. Like I'm already late. Uh, so yeah, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm hoping that Gemma and Tara become friends because they could be, they could be the ones that are going to hold the club down and get some of these boys in line you know what i'm saying like i think i think tara is going to grow into a very strong character in the show if they don't decide to kill her off that is <laughs> or sit make her go to jail for them or some shit like that so i think that right now in the series Gemma and Jax, clay tara some of the strongest characters in the show so you know, it's up to them how they decide to go about it. I like the police chief too. I don't know why he's funny. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to jump on a couple more episodes, maybe tomorrow or the day after that. We'll see how things go, but I'll definitely let you guys know when I'm ready. Okay. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. For this one episode, man, I know some of y'all are going to say, why one episode? Just know that, you know, I'm going to continue to do the double uploads um, until The Walking Dead is back, of course. Um, so we'll see how things go. At least till the end of this season, we should have double uploads after this one. Um, it's just that I didn't have enough time to do it, as I've explained, both in the intro and the outro. So I appreciate y'all for sticking with it. Just know double upload is coming um, I'm going to do 11 and 12 next and then we'll do the finale by itself because it's only 13 episodes, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think it is only 13 episodes, right? For the first season and then we'll jump into season two um, when I get there. But anyways, thank you guys so much again. Gratitude is never enough. You already know. Hit that like button. Comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode the first time you saw it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace!